Ever wondered why some adults behave more like children than their actual age? That's what we're here to talk about today, emotional immaturity. It's a term that's thrown around quite a bit, but what does it really mean? At its core, emotional immaturity refers to behaviors and thought patterns that are typically associated with younger developmental stages. It's like the emotional development of a person got stuck somewhere along the way, while their physical growth continued unchecked. But remember, it's not a one-size-fits-all concept. Everyone matures at their own pace, and that's perfectly normal. We all have our moments of immaturity, right? However, some individuals struggle more than others displaying persistent patterns of emotional immaturity that go beyond the occasional childish moment. These patterns can manifest in a variety of ways, such as being self-centered, impulsive, or having trouble managing emotions. Such individuals might also shy away from accountability, get defensive when faced with criticism, or struggle with maintaining healthy relationships. Now, it's important to note that emotional immaturity is not a clinical diagnosis. It's not something you can point to on a medical chart or diagnose with a blood test. Rather, it's a pattern of behaviors that can be observed over time. And just because someone exhibits signs of emotional immaturity, it doesn't mean they're unintelligent or unsuccessful. They might be the life of the party, the top performer at work, or the most charming person you've ever met. But beneath that surface, their emotional immaturity can create significant challenges in their personal and professional lives. Recognizing emotional immaturity can be the first step towards understanding and navigating relationships more effectively. It's not about pointing fingers or assigning blame, but about gaining insight into the complexities of human behavior. So, now that we've set the stage, let's delve a bit deeper. What does emotional immaturity look like? Let's explore this in our next segment. Let's dive into the key characteristics of emotionally immature individuals. First off, a common trait is self-centeredness. Emotionally immature people often put their own needs and desires above those of others. This isn't about self-care or preservation, but rather a struggle to empathize with others' feelings or perspectives. If you've ever felt like you're constantly catering to someone's needs while yours go unnoticed, you might be dealing with an emotionally immature person. Next, we have impulsivity. These individuals act first and think later, disregarding the potential consequences of their actions. This can lead to rash decisions and interpersonal conflicts. It's as if they're driving a car without a brake, hurtling towards any shiny object that catches their eye, without considering the potential crash at the end of the road. Then there's poor emotional regulation. Emotionally immature people often have trouble managing their emotions effectively. This can result in emotional outbursts, meltdowns, or difficulty expressing their feelings in a healthy way. Instead of dealing with their emotions in a constructive manner, they may let them explode like a volcano, leaving those around them to deal with the fallout. Another characteristic is a lack of accountability. These individuals avoid taking responsibility for their actions or mistakes. Instead of owning up, they're quick to pass the blame onto others or external factors. If you've ever heard, it's not my fault, more times than you can count, you might be dealing with someone who lacks emotional maturity. Emotionally immature people also have an inability to handle criticism. Even the most constructive feedback can be perceived as a personal attack, causing them to become defensive or argumentative. It's like walking on eggshells, where any slight remark could trigger an emotional explosion. Lastly, these individuals often struggle with maintaining healthy, stable relationships. Their emotional immaturity and inability to meet the emotional needs of others can lead to a pattern of unstable and unsatisfying relationships. They may have a history of broken friendships, tumultuous love affairs, and strained family relations. These characteristics can cause challenges in personal and professional relationships, but remember, they are not definitive. Individual experiences may vary. It's also worth noting that emotional immaturity is not a clinical diagnosis, but a pattern of behaviors. Emotionally immature individuals can still be intelligent, successful, and even charming. However, their emotional immaturity may create obstacles in their personal and professional lives. If you're concerned about someone's emotional immaturity, remember, it's important to set healthy boundaries, communicate openly and honestly, and encourage them to seek professional help if necessary. But above all, remember, you can't change them. Focus on taking care of your own well-being and setting healthy boundaries. Emotional immaturity isn't a clinical diagnosis, but it can still impact one's life significantly. 
It's a pattern of behaviors that can make navigating through life's ups and downs a little more challenging. Now, it's crucial to note that emotional immaturity doesn't equate to being unintelligent or unsuccessful. In fact, many emotionally immature individuals are quite the opposite. They can be highly intelligent, brimming with creativity and innovative ideas. They might be the ones leading the pack, the ones who aren't afraid to take risks and make bold moves. They could be successful entrepreneurs, artists, or scientists, making significant contributions to their fields. Moreover, emotionally immature individuals can be incredibly charming. Their spontaneity, zest for life, and often childlike enthusiasm can be infectious, drawing people towards them. They have a knack for making people feel special and valued, often becoming the life of the party. However, the challenge arises when the veneer of charm and success fades away, revealing the underlying immaturity. It's like a beautifully wrapped gift box that, upon opening, reveals a jumbled mess. This immaturity can create hurdles particularly in their relationships, both personal and professional. Their inability to empathize with others, manage their emotions, or take responsibility for their actions can strain their relationships. It can lead to misunderstandings, conflicts, and even breakups or job losses. Imagine being in a relationship with someone who is self-centered, impulsive, and unable to handle criticism. It would be like walking on eggshells, wouldn't it? Or imagine working with a colleague who never takes responsibility for their mistakes, blaming everyone else instead. It would create a stressful, unproductive work environment. So, while emotional immaturity doesn't define a person's intelligence or success, it can significantly affect their ability to form and maintain meaningful, healthy relationships. It can hinder their personal growth and limit their potential to truly succeed, not just professionally, but also personally, emotionally. So, if you're concerned about someone's emotional immaturity, what can you do? Let's explore this question in the next part of our discussion. Dealing with emotionally immature individuals can be challenging, but there are ways to manage. In fact, the first step in addressing emotional immaturity is setting healthy boundaries. This means not tolerating manipulative or abusive behavior and ensuring that your own needs and well-being are respected. It's important to remember that your emotional health matters too, and protecting it should be a priority. Communication is also key. Open, honest dialogue can make a world of difference. It's essential to express your concerns in a respectful and clear manner. This involves explaining how their behavior affects you, without resorting to blaming or shaming. Remember, the goal is not to attack, but to create understanding and promote change. Yet it's equally important to realize that communication alone may not be enough. Encouraging emotionally immature individuals to seek professional help can be a beneficial step. Therapists and counselors are trained to help people develop healthier coping mechanisms and emotional regulation skills. They can provide the tools and guidance necessary for individuals to grow and mature emotionally. However, there's a fundamental truth that you must always keep in mind. You cannot change someone who doesn't want to change. It's a tough pill to swallow, but it's crucial for your own well-being. You can offer support, provide advice, and be there for them, but at the end of the day, they have to make the decision to grow. In this journey, patience is your ally. Change is a process, not an event. It takes time, effort, and a lot of patience. It's easy to get frustrated when progress is slow or non-existent, but remember, emotional maturity is a complex and deeply personal journey. In closing, remember that understanding and patience go a long way when dealing with emotional immaturity. While it can be challenging, remember that everyone is capable of growth and change. Your role is to provide support and encouragement while also taking care of your own emotional health. Remember, understanding and patience go a long way when dealing with emotional immaturity. We've covered a lot today, so let's quickly recap. We delved into the realm of emotional immaturity, identifying key characteristics that emotionally immature individuals often exhibit. These include self-centeredness, impulsivity, poor emotional regulation, a lack of accountability, an inability to handle criticism, and difficulty maintaining healthy relationships. We also underscored that emotional immaturity is not a clinical diagnosis, but rather a pattern of behaviors. It's important to remember that these individuals can still be intelligent, successful, and even charming. However, their emotional immaturity can pose challenges in their personal and professional lives. To navigate these challenges, we highlighted the importance of setting healthy boundaries, communicating openly and honestly, encouraging professional help, 
and focusing on your own well-being. Remember, you can't change someone else, but you can control how you react and interact. Thank you for joining us today. Remember, emotional maturity is a journey, not a destination. Be patient, be kind, and always strive for understanding.